Hello guys, what is up? My name is David and today we're going to be taking a look at a financial metric called Return on Invested Capital or for short ROIC. This metric is one of the most important factors in valuing a company over the long term. The return on invested capital tells us how effective management is at reinvesting profits within a business. There are many ways to go about calculating this metric. The way I usually go about calculating ROIC is by taking free cash flow for owners and dividing it by long-term debt plus equity. This usually gives investors a good picture of the profits a business is producing and the amount of capital they had to reinvest to achieve those profits. For simplicity's sake, I'll just be using the free cash flow figure instead of free cash flow for owners as it's a bit more complicated to calculate. I'll link a video by Hamish Hodder at the top of this video if you guys are interested in learning how to calculate free cash flow for owners. He does a very good job breaking down each step. Investors often use ROIC to compare companies in the same industry and to see if a company is more or less efficient in generating returns off of capital than their peers. I'll be going over an example and break down exactly how I calculate ROIC and what my baseline ROIC is for a company. I'll be using Apple's ROIC as an example. I've linked the free spreadsheet that I created to calculate ROIC in the description with instructions so feel free to follow along using another company by making a copy of the spreadsheet. Anyway, let's get into it. So as you can see, to get free cash flow, I went to Apple's cash flow statement took Apple's operating income and subtracted capital expenditures from it. Then, to fulfill the bottom section of the equation, I took long-term debt and added it to shareholders' equity, both of which can be found on the balance sheet. Then, I divided free cash flow by long-term debt and equity and got a percentage of the two, which is the company's ROIC. In most cases, I like to see ROIC above 10% at a minimum and either constantly growing or staying stagnant over a 5-10 to 10 year period. Apple has a very high return on invested capital, one which has slipped up a bit over the past 10 years, but Apple is able to consistently stay above that 20-25% to 25 mark, which I think is quite remarkable. On the side, I've added a shaded region which represents the percentage of free cash flow invested back into equity. This is something I look for in a company with a high ROIC like Apple because it's best that the company is reinvesting their profits back into the business to achieve that high return. In Apple's case, they pay out a lot of their profits in dividends and buying back shares, which hinders a lot of their growth and then actually using their ROIC to their advantage. What I've done is taken Apple's total free cash flow in the past five years and divided it by the change in equity over the past five years. It's not a very good sign that this is negative in the recent years as it means that Apple has not been reinvesting much of their profits back into the business and taking advantage of their relatively high ROIC. Alright guys, so that is going to wrap up what return on invested capital is, why it is so important, and how to calculate it. If you guys enjoyed, please like and sub to my channel, and let me know what other topics you want me to make a video on in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, have a wonderful day.